right, guys. Let's take a look at the long-term monthly chart for Ford. And this is a monthly chart going back to 1990. Of course, all the way to early 2018. What we're going to be looking at is some of the major highs and major lows in that time period. We can see a major high here in early 1999 to mid-1999. We can see that came with declining strength. So that definitely is negative divergence. We see another high here where the stock was trying to break out but failed. This also corresponded with declining technicals. That's negative divergence. And of course this negative divergence here led to a major top and a substantial drop. I should have mentioned that. And then here again, second negative divergence led to this big drop, huge drop. And we can see another move to new highs on a monthly closing basis that came with negative divergence. So you catch the drift here that some of this, if not most of the major highs, are coming with evidence of negative divergence. We can see the most recent highs going back to 2014. We got a push to monthly closing highs while the RSI is making lower highs. That's another instant of negative divergence before the most recent pullback and sideways action over the last couple of years. Now, let's take a look at some of the major lows. So we can see an improvement here on the RSI of the lows there in 09. Prices were making fresh lows. RSI was improving. That is positive divergence. And the stock has been higher since then. And we can see here there was another push to fresh monthly closing lows as the RSI pretty much stays the same which can, we can use that as positive divergence. RSI did not break down. And of course, since then, we've seen the stock did have a recovery run. Now, I also want to take a look at the recent highs right here. And to understand the magnitude of this drop here, we might have to go to the two-year weekly chart. So let's do that. So here's a two-year weekly. We can see a huge move lower over the last couple of weeks from here to the current lows, huge reversal. Now, where do these lows or these highs come from? Why is it showing resistance around these levels? Well, go back to the long-term monthly chart. I'll show you two lines. Line number one is the RSI top side, like that. And line number two is the back test line from here. So the convergence of those two lines is where we see that over the last couple of weeks, stock has come and hit that level. And of course, we've seen the reaction after that resistance in that the stock is already responding with a move lower. Now, one thing I find very interesting here is, remember we had observed that there was an improvement in month-to-month -month prices here, and there was a negative divergence line. Well, that negative divergence line is the same line that is showing resistance right now, right? Right here, resistance. And if we take a look at the other line, which was while the prices were making fresh lows here, this line here, that positive divergence line, if you extend it out, it gives us the same rejection line right there. So interesting that the lines from previous highs and major lows from here, from the highs there, the negative divergence from that period, positive divergence from the period 
those two lines intersect exactly where the stock is finding resistance. I find that to be very interesting. Eric Moa with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Food for thought. E-R-C-S.